Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. I love the story of Roger Williams, founder of Rhode Island. His body was exhumed for reburial. It was found that the root of an apple tree had penetrated the head of the coffin and had followed down Williams' spine, dividing into a fork at his legs. The tree had absorbed the chemicals of the decaying body and had transmuted them into its wood and fruit. Hold on. The apples, in turn, had been eaten by people, quite unconscious of the fact that they were indirectly taking into their systems part of the long-dead Williams. How, out of this complex situation, will God handle it? Relax. <laughs> he made you out of nothing. He can bring you back to something. It's no problem with God. See, people will bring up stuff like that, and then they'll say, see there, you're talking to me about Christ coming. Give me a break. I'm talking about Christ coming. I'm talking about the sovereign God who made you, calling you into account. He won't have any trouble putting you back together and bringing you face to face with him. Years ago, during the presidential term of office of Dwight Eisenhower, the president was vacationing in Denver. It came to his attention that a little boy named Paul Haley was dying of an incurable cancer six-year-old lad, and he had one great dream that was to someday see the president. Dwight Eisenhower made an act that uh, will long outlive his great speeches when he said to one of his aides, let's go see young Paul Haley. They got in the presidential limousine and they drove over one August Sunday morning to the home of a six-year-old boy that didn't know the president was coming flags on the fenders were flying as this black limousine drove up. Doors flew open and out walked the president who knocked on the door. Mr. Donald Haley, the father, opened the door wearing blue jeans, an old dirty shirt, and one day's growth of beard, said, yes, can I help you? <laughs> and the president responded, uh, is Paul here? Tell him the president would like to see him. And little Paul, to his amazement, walked around his father's legs and stood and looked up into the face of the man he admired the most. Dwight Eisenhower kneeled down, shook his hand, took him out to see the presidential limousine. And before he said goodbye, he hugged little Paul Haley. They shook hands again and he left. <laughs> the neighbors, I'm sure, are still talking about the visit from the president. Only one man was not entirely happy about it. That was Donald Haley, who said, how can I ever forget standing there dressed like I was in those jeans and an old dirty shirt and an unshaven face to meet the president of the United States? He had to get ready. I'm talking about keeping ready. Are you? If you're not, then get ready. It's hard to imagine, but one day you will meet Jesus and you need to be ready. Settling your eternal destiny is urgent business. If you've never met Christ, take him as your savior now. He's available and waiting to be invited into your life. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack, where life and truth meet. The preceding Life Track presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message on that great getting up morning was copyrighted in 1984 
and this Life Track sound recording was copyrighted in 2014 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.